Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really excited to be filming this video because I think it's going to be really helpful. I'm going to be sharing five ways to buy expensive luxury designer brands for less, but most importantly, I'll be showing you real life examples. So I'll be showing you the goodies I picked up using these five tips. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Mel. I'm so glad that you've clicked on this video. I think you're going to be seeing eye candy, but you're going to learn something hopefully as well as I share these five tips. So if you wanted to join my YouTube family, all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button. And if you want to be notified each time I upload, don't forget to click that bell. So without further ado, let's get started. So my number one tip is that you need to download ShopTagger. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you would know that I have mentioned this in my previous videos. I personally have used this online tool for over a year and a half now, and it has literally saved me thousands and thousands of dollars. And that is why I have partnered up with them again, because it is a tool I really believe in. I use this all the time when I'm online shopping because it not only saves me money, but it saves me so much time. So for all of you guys that have not heard about ShopTagger, what is it? In summary, it's like your own personal shopping assistant, except that it only alerts you when the items that you want either go on sale or come back in stock or are low in stock. So these are all items that you only ask it to notify you on. I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on how it works because it is so, so easy to use. You will thank me because you will seriously save so much money and you're not going to be stalking sites because it will let you know in real time when an item goes on sale or goes out of stock or it's low in stock. So I have found this super helpful. So I had to share this with you. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do is go to shoptagger.com and hit the get started button. It's really easy to sign up. You can sign up via Facebook or via your email address. I've already got an account so I can just log in now. So I am just going to log in. Okay, so now I am logged in. So secondly, what you need to do is see this, it's called get the button. And what you wanna do is download the browser button. So you just hit this green tag and then you add the extension and then it creates this little browser button here. And that just makes it so much easier while you're browsing online to save the items you want into your shop tagger list. So for example, I'm gonna go browse at one of my stores. By the way, guys, they have two over 2,500 supported stores, so there are heaps and heaps that they're affiliated with. Okay, and then I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite size matches fashion, and I'm looking at Bomber and Blazers. You guys know I'm, I'm after one, but I've just seen that a whole bunch have gone on sale. So I've already got this, but guys, by the way, this is 40% off. So what I do, if I wanna save that to my shop tagger list, I just hit this little green button, and then I select the size I want, and then you, I'm going to ask it to notify me when there's any price change, but you can hit 25 or 50. So, and then I'm going to just save it to my clothes list, but look, you can organize it into whatever list you want. And then I hit save. So then if I go back into my account, you will see that I have that saved on my list. It's already there two times because I already had it saved. And so if you look at my clothes list, yes, it's mainly Balmain Blazers, but you can see what I have got saved under this list. So I use this a lot. That's why... <laughs> You know, my lists are pretty long. What I love about ShopTagger is it not only lets me know if an item is being reduced, but it also does let me know if an item is low in stock or it goes out of stock. So let me just go back to this all list. For example, see this one's sold out and this one's back in stock. This one's back in stock. So I find that tool super useful. So I've signed up to get notifications two ways. You can get it through email or you can get mobile push notifications. It's totally up to you guys, but I want both because I want to know when the latest sale is happening and also when the item that I've saved comes back in stock or it's low in stock. See, I told you it's so easy to use, so make sure you do download it. I will leave a link in the description bar below. So as I mentioned there, it's fantastic for saving money and alerting you with discounts. But in this particular case, I am going to be showing you this goodie that I got using ShopTagger. As I mentioned during the tutorial, if an item is popular, it actually lets you know when it's low in stock or when it's back in stock. Now, I wanted this particular item 
from Matches Fashion. And the reason I was so specific is because I had a code I could use on this item. So I will just show you first. I'll go into the code a little bit later because that's coming up in another point. And from the box, you can already tell it is... So I actually got these gorgeous Gucci Marmont sandals that I have been wanting for a while. I do have a similar pair uh, in tan which I use all the time. So it does come with the two dust bags as well. And this particular item, yes, I could have bought it from Gucci website in Australia. I could have bought it from the Gucci store. but. The reason why I wanted the Matches Fashion one is because I had a code that saved me 15%. And I'm a size 37 to 38, and 37 and 38 tend to be really popular sizes. So I'd save it to my list, I didn't have to worry about it, and then ShopTagger notified me when it came back in stock. And the minute it came back in stock, I was like, yes, uh, put it in my cart, use my code, and then I saved like $125. And all of you guys know Gucci never go on sale. So to be able to get Gucci at 15% off, I think it's a pretty good deal. So point number two is wait for a sale. And I'm going to show you a sneaky trick that I do as well. But you don't actually have to wait that long for a sale. I mean, right now there are end of season sales happening at the moment, but if it wasn't end of season, there's always like mid season sales, there's like Black Friday sales um, and Cyber Weekend sales, and then there's specific mall sales. I don't know about you guys, uh, but I know that in Australia there's always, oh, there's a VIP shopping night, there's a huge sale on, there's, you know, Memorial Day sales, there's sales, 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 sales. Besides, like Chanel bags and LV bags and Hermes bags that don't really go on sale. Seriously, I've bought so much of my items on sale just by waiting. So the easiest way to find out about sales is to sign up to newsletters. And it depends how much you want to sign up. I just sign up to my favorite online sites and brands. I actually unsubscribe to some of them because another feature that I love about ShopTagger is that I actually get an email for them and they sometimes like summarize like five or six sales that are happening in the one go. So I'm like, oh, I didn't know about that. And I've sort of found out. But of course, there's some sites that ShopTagger aren't affiliated with. So like, for example, Alice McCall or Forzieri, I still get emails from there because I love shopping from there. But as I said, newsletters are a super simple way because you do get notified of sales and promo codes and, you know, new season items. I just find it really helpful. And what I personally do is I set up another account so that my normal email isn't just bombarded with all this shopping spam, but that's totally up to you. But that's just what I personally do. Anyway, so it's end of season sale time now, right? And I got an email from one of my favorite department stores, Ava Jones, and they do sell some great luxury designer brands. So let me show you what I picked up. So I picked up something from Saint Laurent and from the box you probably can guess, yes, it is another pair of shoes. Let me tell you the price in a second. So I got these gorgeous pumps. I'm actually not 100% sure of the name of them. I will leave them in the description bar, but how gorgeous are these? So they're the ones with the YSL heel. It is in a sort of antique brass color. And can I just say, these are so comfortable. You can see the reduced sticker there. I'm surprised that these weren't on sale because I've seen them full price still in the YSL store and other online stores. But let me tell you how much I saved. Let me just put this box down. So these shoes retail at, normally they are, I can't find even the normal price now. Oh, here we go. Normally they are $1,570. So David Jones uh, had 30% off their designer shoes. So that was $1,099. But what I did is I could actually buy David Jones vouchers for 10% off. So for example, just say I buy a $500 voucher so that I would pay 450. So then it took these shoes down to about 980 something dollars. So I thought that was really worth it for these shoes because I have been eyeing them, but I didn't want to pay full price. 
and now I get them during the sale. And for those of you that don't mind waiting, what David Jones do is actually something that all retailers do and online stores is typically what happens is it goes on sale. It might start off at 30% and then each time it keeps going up, you know, to 40, 50, 60. I think right now you probably see a lot of sites are extra styles added to the sale. Sale is now up to 60 or 70% off. But then the very last stage is take an additional 20 or 25% off um, sale items. And guys, this is the sneaky trick I want to tell you about. So, if I've got an item saved and it's still after those couple of rounds still you know, on the list on ShopTagger and it doesn't say low in stock or anything, I do know, okay, Mel, you can wait it out. Wait out some of those items that you know may not be that popular. So I do have a real life example of this. What I did is I waited for Matches Fashion, take an additional 25% off and it will come, probably not quite yet, but I reckon it's probably coming soon. Anyway, it was 50% off already the retail price. And then I waited until it was take a further 20% off. And then you guys might ask me, Mel, weren't you scared that it was going to like sell out? So what I do is when it's at the, just before the take further 20 or 25% off, what I do is I add a lot of it, a few of them to my cart. So just say I add like five or something and then I can't check out. I'm like, okay, Mel, it's only got five left. So then I need to decide at that time, should I wait it out? Should I not? What's the probability? So if it has more than five, I know I'm pretty safe. And so this is what I did when I bought this gorgeous strap, this gorgeous Fendi strap and matches fashion. And that was the trick I used. So as I said, as the sale progresses, ShopTagger will let you know when it's low in stock. If it's low in stock and you do that little trick, just say you add three and you can't check out, you're like, I would probably get it at that stage because it'll probably sell out. But if you added more than five and you can still check out, there's still a few there. So I did that for this and then I scored this. Uh, I can't remember the exact price, but it was 50% off that price. And then it was additional 20% off. And the minute that went on, I went and bought this. So that was how I was able to score this item. It's not only this, I've used it, that sneaky trick, with a lot of self-portrait items as well. And I've been able to save 60 to 70% off retail price. Tip number three, again, it may seem really obvious, but ask questions. Mel, what do you mean by ask questions? Especially during end of season sales, so the two big sales of the year, you know, during say June and November, December-ish, if there is a particular brand that you shop at or you really love, do not be afraid to ask the sales associates or sales assistants at the store, oh, did you know when the sales are coming up? Some of them may say, sorry, we do not know, but I would actually try again. Sometimes you can phone up and you find out. And this is how I scored my next item. A lot of luxury brands, for example, say Fendi, Burberry, um, Christian Louboutin, Dior, uh, even Chanel, though I have to say Chanel are scaling back their sales. What they do is sometimes they have like for their existing customers or VIPs, they have like a pre-sale before it goes public. But some of them, you don't even have to be VIP. Some of them is just like existing customers. And if you ask them, they may even let you know, oh, this is, you know, the sale before it goes to the public. Not all the time. Don't quote me. I'm just saying this can happen. And this happened in the instance for Christian Louboutin. I am not a VIP in Christian Louboutin at all. I have purchased from the store before. As you know, when I went to the event, I bought those gorgeous pair of black shoes. Anyway, during that vlog, I tried on these pair of shoes and I was this close to buying it. Thank goodness I did not buy them because what happened was, and you know it's always around this time. So for example, end of May, start of June, all I did was I asked the sales associate, oh, because I know that Christian Louboutin always have, you know, 40% off at the end of season. I'm like, oh, when is your 40% off sale starting? And so the sales uh, assistant let me know we're actually going to be having a couple of days uh, preview before it sort of goes public. 
and then I scooped these up because I knew that these were going to sell out. So let me show you what I got. I'm so happy I got these guys because I seriously saved 40% off. And the only reason why I did is because I asked the question. And look, if worst comes to worst and they say, sorry, I can't tell you, or sorry, I don't know, there's no skin off your nose. You just ask the question. Okay. okay, I'll share with you the price too. So obviously, as it's from Christian Louboutin, you know, it's another pair of shoes. I really went shoe crazy, didn't I? <laughs> But let me show you, beautifully packaged in the ribbon. So I got, oh my goodness, how hot are these? These are the denim foley's. Yeah, the denim foley's in the 100 millimeter. These are just so edgy. I always wanted a denim pair of pumps. I also wanted something from Christian Louboutin that was definitely really embellished. They, he's known for all his spikes. I bought these in a 37 and let me share with you. So I saved 40% off the price. And for those of you that do buy Christian Louboutin, you know anything that has all spikes tend to be very expensive or anything with a lot of embellishments tend to be very expensive. They're plain patent shoes, not as much so, but I really wanted something like this and this was perfect. I will try it on for you soon as well, but you guys know I always share price with you. So these shoes originally were, look, they don't even tell me how much they originally were. Hold on, let me check the box. These shoes were originally $1,685. And after 40%, they came to just well, $1,011. And so, look, they're still expensive, but honestly, who doesn't like to save 40%? And I think they look gorgeous on. They're actually surprisingly pretty comfortable for Christian Louboutins. And I'm just so happy that I got these. So guys, as I said, don't be afraid to ask a question and to ask them when the sales are happening. Tip number four is refer a friend or loyalty programs. And what I mean by that is if there's a particular store that you love, I know that a lot of you guys are from the US. So for example, I know that Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue, they have pretty good loyalty programs. And just a disclaimer, it is only good to sign up for these loyalty programs if you pay the balance uh, in full. Don't use this as like a credit card. I would just use this purely because I know that with these programs, like the more you spend, you get like a dollar per point. And then with each level you go up, it could be $2. Um, you get one point, $4 for one point and so forth. Basically these reward programs are really good because all those points eventually convert to like a gift card or a voucher. And then you can use that for uh, a future purchase. And I know that is really, really helpful because it all adds up. Like a two, saving $200 or $300, I think is a substantial amount. So I think those programs are really good if you are strict and you don't use it like a credit card and you pay it off, I think that's really worthwhile. Another thing that a lot of people don't use, and I think it is so good is the refer a friend program. Now I'm going to show you something from matches I got. I keep mentioning matches, but no, I'm not affiliated with them. I wish I was affiliated with them, but that is one that I personally use. Whether your favorite online site has a refer program, just Google it because for matches fashion, if you refer a friend, what happens is that you get 15, 10 to 15% off. If I let one of my friends know about Matches Fashion and they are a new customer, so you do need to be a new customer, that you get 15% off your next order and then they get 15% off. As I mentioned before, uh, with the first Gucci item, I bought that from Matches Fashion. And you know how on point one I said, I really used Shop Tagger because I wanted to use a code. So with the refer uh, uh, friend program, I got 15% off code that I could use. And guys, that applies to Gucci. Some A lot of sites don't apply to Gucci, but it does. So if you think about it, right, just say you wanted to buy a bag, 15% off like a $4,000 bag is a lot of money. So it's really worth it. I actually do have a link. I'll leave it down below if you wanted to use it. 15% off. All you need to do is put Mel in Melbourne in the refer a friend box when you are checking out. But as I said, 
sharing is caring. Share matches fashion with one of your friends or maybe someone that you know that wants to buy something because it gets 15% off their order as well. Anyway, Zimmerman is one of my favorite brands and this is still full price in the store. I love this gorgeous print. I love Zimmerman dresses and it's full price. Uh, it is $495, but I managed to save 15% on this dress. And then as I said, I saved 15% on the Gucci shoes as well. So just by using that code, I saved $200. So that is just such an easy way of saving money that I know a lot of people don't use, but refer a friend. And tip number five in which you can save so much money on designer items and get it for less, and this is going to come at no surprise for those of you that have been following me for a while, is to buy vintage or pre-loved designer goodies. And you can buy these goodies from say eBay or sites like Fashion File, Yugi's Closet, Etsy. Now I have got a vintage find I'm so, so excited to share with you. It is in this bag. Okay, it didn't come in this bag, I have to admit, but I just wanted to show you. It did, however, come in its original dust bag. I got this from Etsy. And, oh, another point I wanted to talk to you about. Do not be afraid, even though if it's pre-loved, to negotiate. Negotiate, ask questions, see if you can get even free shipping or if you pay. In this instance with this particular item, I said, if I pay right now, can you do a better discount? And I look, I didn't get that much off, but I got like $30 off and free shipping. So it ended up being like $50, which it's still $50. But let me show you what I got. Okay. So I was pretty happy with the price I paid for this because this condition is amazing. And it so it came with this original dust bag. Dun, dun, dun. It is a vintage uh, Dior saddlebag. This condition is perfect. I The seller, it was, it was actually a private seller from Etsy, just did, it's even better than I thought. It is, it's like she didn't use it. It comes with the authenticity card. I have not seen one for, with an authenticity card at the price that I got. So for those of you that may not be aware, this bag is going to be hitting Dior stores very soon. They have brought the saddle bag back. And I think in Australia it's gonna reach, I'm not sure of the price, but it will be definitely over $3,000, I believe. Maybe three, four, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's gonna be hitting stores in about a month. Um, yeah, huge revival. It's come in so many different colors. I was hunting this down for a while. Can I just say, these were going for like $100 or something before anybody knew they were bringing this back. So I think at the moment, these vintage versions are going for $800, $900, even way over $1,000, which look, it's still a third of the price of retail. But for this version, I did, I actually did buy it a couple months ago, but I haven't revealed it yet. And I was so happy with the price I paid. It is more obviously than $100. I ended up paying, what was the price? It was 430 Australian dollars. But as I said, because I asked, could you discount it a bit? I ended up paying $380 shipped. So that was like $50 off. And I thought that was pretty good. I was happy with that. And it's in immaculate condition. So this one, I don't know if you can really see, it is the black um, monogram print, uh, the Troda print, and uh, the metalwork is in the silver hardware. I, re I was looking for one in the blue and the gold. That's the one I was originally looking for, but I just could not find one at a price and condition I was happy with. So this particular one, as I said, it came with the authenticity card. I cannot believe it. This baby is from uh, 2003, which makes this, well, it's not quite vintage yet, but it makes this bag like 15 years old. So it's in perfect condition. There's no marks. The leather's perfect. I'm just so happy that I can get this bag and I'll, I'll be rocking this bag up uh, really soon. So I actually have another vintage item to show you and it is from Chanel. As I said, it didn't come in this bag, but I just wanted to show you anyway. I bought this from eBay. I love eBay, but I will only trust the Japanese resellers. And so what I picked up is this one. 
And this is a vintage Chanel scarf. I just loved it because I love that medallion. I just think it looks really nice worn like this, like even with denim, like how nice does that look? Uh, I've worn it triangular, but you can wear it as a square. It's actually a square scarf. So that is what it looks like. So what I did with this particular item was uh, I had saved it on my eBay list and then it notified me that the shop had like a 20% off offer or something. So originally this was $250 and then it was the store had a 20% discount. So and then went down to $200 and then I always sort of just wait for eBay codes. And I don't know about you, but they seem to come on quite often. So then I used the 10% eBay code on top of that. So I ended up getting this for $180, which I think is pretty good. Good because Chanel scarves now retail from 600 actually more than 600 now probably 600 to a thousand dollars I know that this particular uh, seller sells thousands and thousands of vintage goodies I really trust them and oh by the way if you're ever unsure about vintage or pre-loved bags make sure you do your research and get it authenticated like I absolutely did get this Dior bag authenticated it is a hundred percent authentic and if if you're wondering what sites to use just google it there's so many good sites like i've used a variety of sites uh, to authenticate so guys buying uh, pre-loved or vintage designer is a fantastic way to buy expensive designer goodies for less because as i said in store this is going to be three or four thousand dollars now got it for 380 dollars that is saving it really is like saving $3,000 or even more. And finally, just as a bonus point for you guys, when you are shopping online, don't forget to use a cashback site. The one that I use is called Shopback Australia. I will also put it in the description bar below. I do have a promo code at the moment with them and it's for free you sign up for free but you also get $15 into your account if you sign up for Shopback. So additionally what a cashback site means is if you go to the website so for example just say I'm shopping through Matches Fashion I will go to Shopback first and then go to Matches Fashion through them so it will redirect me through that link and then when I buy it I will get cash back on that order as well. So that just saves even more money and I highly recommend using a cashback site because they pay you cash um, to your bank account or to your PayPal account and to answer your question for this Shopback Australia site no you don't have to be in Australia as long as the retailer ships globally you can use it as well so do sign up because who doesn't want to save more money so guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it was a little bit long, but besides unboxing all my goodies, which you know I love doing with you guys and I know you love unboxing, I really wanted to make it informative as well and share with you my five tricks or tips and methods in which I use personally to save myself both time and money because as I said, it saved me thousands of dollars. So if you did like this video, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up up and do share this video. I think sharing is caring and we're all one big family and who doesn't like to save uh, money? I know I do. So I really hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments bar below what was your favorite item from this haul. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you guys so much. Have a great day or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.